Hello students today we will discuss a new chapter which is the human eye and the colorful world our eyes use light and enable us to see the objects and scenes around us but what if there is no eye yes we won't be able to see this colorful world have you ever wondered about the design of our eyes which makes us see this beautiful world our eyes have lenses that refract the rays of light coming from outside after their reflection by the objects this reflection and refraction of light forms an image of the object in our eyes which is why we see objects around us but how does this lens work in the human eye we will learn about it in this chapter If this lens in the eye does not work properly then the person will develop some sort of defects in his vision it is because of this defect that people cannot see things around them easily some people find objects near to them blurred or obscured while others find distant objects blurry yes they are respectively called as myopia and hypermetropia spectacles made from lenses of appropriate power are used to correct these defects as we know a lens is a solid transparent object that causes the refraction of the light rays but like the lens we also have another optical instrument that not only causes the refraction of light but also another phenomena associated with light which is the splitting of light and what do we call this phenomena yes it is dispersion the splitting of light into its constituent colors is called the dispersion of light can you see this object here think what it is yes you guessed it right as you can see here this triangular transparent object is a prism it not only refracts the light that is bends it but also splits the ray of light into its seven constituent colors so we will learn about various defects of eye their correction and this wonderful phenomena in detail in this chapter have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky yes indeed specifically in monsoons but have you ever wondered why a rainbow appears or about how it is formed in the sky during monsoon pause the video and think about it if you are thinking that this beautiful mystery of nature is some kind of magic then you are wrong it is science that nature applies the rainbow that appears in monsoon season is also result of the splitting due to the refraction of light it is caused by water droplets that are there in the sky during monsoon time have you ever been to a forest or on a cloudy day for camping if yes then i'm sure you must have seen such a bounty of nature yes this is nature at its best is nothing but one more phenomena of light do you know why this happens when sunlight passes through a dense area covered with clouds or trees its path is obstructed and it scatters in different directions like this creating beautiful scenery yes it is nothing but scattering it is because of this scattering of light that the sky appears red at sunset and sunrise Also the blue color of the sky is due to the scattering of light rays. Now have you ever wondered why do stars twinkle around or why do we see water on the roads in hot summery days? Well, this is nothing but illusion of the eye. It happens due to a phenomena of refraction that occurs in the atmosphere. Yes, correct. it is nothing but atmospheric refraction so all of these starting with human eye its structure its defects and correction and bending of light that is refraction 
phenomena associated with refraction dispersion phenomena associated with it recombination and scattering of light and phenomena associated with it we will all study them in detail in this chapter so see you in the next video